May the Lord give you peace. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Happy feast to you, our sisters, the poor ladies, poor Claire's. Today we honor you. We recognize in you the richness and the beauty and the grace that God has given to us, your brothers, through your lives, through the gift of who you are as women of God, to the gift of communion that you share with one another, through your gift of contemplation and your commitment to enter into the suffering of Christ, who enters into the suffering of the world today. You might recall in the letter that I wrote to honor and to celebrate this your feast, this our feast of St. Clair. I recall the words from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 15, where Jesus invites us to dwell, to remain, to live in Him, live in me as I live in you. These sound like wonderful words, but they are also a tremendous challenge for us women and men of the Gospel. They're a tremendous challenge because they require of us to go deeply within ourselves and to allow God to turn the mirror of His love toward our hearts so that we might see in this encounter with the mirror of God, we might discover the original beauty and grace to which all of us have been called. And that through this mirror, we might be able then to reflect not only upon the love of God, but what the love of God calls us to, to be women, to be men of the gospel, with the gospel at the heart of our, of our hearts, leading and guiding us, and with God's heart placed in the world, we must also then, through our prayer, through our contemplation, through our fraternal care of one another, through our communion with one another, we must also embrace the same world that God embraces. Remain in me as I remain in you. And where does God dwell? God dwells in the hearts of each of us. God dwells in the heart of this world, which we know is broken, a world that's facing many challenges. Young people, old people, middle-aged people, many people feeling a sense of loss. And what is our gift? What is your gift to the world today? It's to remind them of the hope to which we are called, the joy to which we are called, the mirror of God, which is reflecting, not just reflecting back an image, but transmitting a vision of who God is calling us to be as women and men of the gospel. And so today, once again, in the name of all the brothers, your little brothers of the order of Friars Minor, I transmit, I send to you the message of joy, our joy for you, our message of communion, our promise and pledge to be in communion with you and to allow you also to care for us. May God bless you. May God bless the, the, the vocation to which you are called. May your prayers rise up like incense and may they help raise the hopes and the dreams of all the humanity so that together through prayer and through our life of communion in God, we might be able to help participate, participate with God in the renewal of the face of the earth. Again, happy feast. Happy feast to all of you. God's blessings. Peace.